take a Polaroid picture of God, shake it, and then place his image on the copy machine glass face down. Be sure to leave dust, streaks, fingerprint smudges, stray hairs, and other imperfections. Pull the cover over, sealing the document. Select the desired lightness or darkness by pressing a button. Newsprint, color to black and white, or photos will need to be lightened. Light text, light colors, or pencil drawings need to be darkened to show up well. The Almighty is tricky to capture, so try your best to highlight the essential qualities. Press the large copy button, usually green, and wait. When the machine hums and the paper spits out, replace the Polaroid and the copy that was just made. Place it face down on the glass and repeat the process. When the copy is made, replace the copy in the machine and make a copy of the copy of the original picture. And then make a copy of a copy of another copy of the original and after that a copy of a copy of a copy of the original. Keep repeating the process. Repeat it for 3,000 years. Never leave the same image in the machine. Notice slight changes, the fractured ink, the breaks and lines, facial features faded, cracks from paper folds and warped tints, vibrant shades of gray and piercing black blotches from printing malfunctions. Put in a new ink cartridge to reveal darker features, a slight mistake in placement on the glass, and an arm is lost. Repeat the process a million times. Make two billion more copies. Stand in a copy room's eyes up, blinded by four-foot flickering fluorescent light tubes behind acrylic prismatic sheets, lips and nose peering out of hot Xerox, body buried underneath countless reams of life and death. Savor paper cuts on your neck. Wriggle free, inch above your creation. Wingtips find stabilities atop compressed paper piles. Now search, dig. The Polaroid, dig. Sift through phone book thick stacks of documents. Keep digging. Make your way towards the printer, the last place you remember seeing the original Polaroid. Pay no attention to the images you crumple and discard to make a path. Become frustrated with your efforts. Question genuinely if there ever was a Polaroid to begin with. Was there really ever a picture that laid on that glass that wasn't a copy of some other copy? Question yourself, doubt yourself, concede defeat, just as you spot it right there where you left it. A corner of the Polaroid sticks out like origami. Grab it, flip it over, flatten yourself, and see yourself godly, red-eyed, and perfect.